Boy's Kitchen is on the road at the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center in Waikiki, and Living 808 is taking you to Island Vintage Wine Bar. I want to introduce you all to Mark. He is the wine director, the best title to have. Oh, Mikey, thank you so much for coming. I, I you know, this is great that you're out here, and we really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, the title's not bad. I, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, I get to do some fun things, drink yeah. some cool wine. <laughs> okay, well, speaking of wine, could you share with all our viewers a little bit about Island Vintage Wine Bar? And I also heard that you've been here for three years. It's true. I just celebrated my three-year anniversary awesome. here. And um, this is a really special place to work. I mean, it's really a family operation. Right. And um, we, we get to do some really cool things. I mean, it's kind of, I'm given the opportunity to do really whatever I want to with the beverage program, which is really a special uh, uh, opportunity. So I Island Vintage Wine Bar is um, kind of the newest concept uh, for um, Island Vintage Coffee, which is our sister restaurant. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a farm-to-table restaurant with really ingredient-focused and, um, and then the wines and the foods are all really picked to pair well together. That's kind of the synergy that we have here at the wine bar. So, you know, when people come just for the food, people come just for the wine, and they come for both. So either way, it's all good. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's actually wine about it. See what I did there? Ooh, I did. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Yeah, bum, bum. Okay, the, the selection of wine. What do you have for all of our white wine lovers out there and our red wine lovers and maybe even our champagne lovers? So... I pick a really a worldwide uh, selection of wines. I really try to get things that, to be inclusive, right. um, but we focus uh, typically on France, Italy, and the United States. But I've got some Slovenian wine. You know, we have wine from uh, really all over the world. So it's kind of a it's kind of fun to do it that way. I've actually got a Moroccan wine right now from North Africa. So it's cool. But we have wines that, um, for as you mentioned, champagne lovers. Like we do grower producer, which means that they actually grow the grapes, make the wine, and sell it. There's no there's no middleman in that process. We have a, um, all these cool mineral white wines that are kind of uh, great with our with our food. Then we have some richer, um, bolder white wines that also are good, but just you know different stylistically. Light reds, bolder reds, earthy reds, and we also put them all into flights of wine too. So it's kind of fun that we change that out the components. So there's lots of different uh, flights here. Okay. All right. Well, we're not going to taste any flights, but I do see some glasses in front of us. Yeah. Is there a particular wine that you wanted to showcase to our viewers today? There is. I thought we'd, um, we'd showcase the Coast Frappato, okay. which is kind of like a, a equivalent or akin to a Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pull some out of the dispenser okay. right now. Go ahead. These dispensers are great because they keep everything at a proper temperature and also under a, an inert gas. So um, the uh, the wines are fresh for days, if not weeks. Mm, okay. So nothing is going to go stale or bad here. It all is just like the day we opened it. Got it. Cool. Perfect. Yeah. One well, for me. Now, I love this because I feel like not a lot of people get to see the wines displayed like this. Yeah. yeah it, it's it's true. There, I mean, there aren't that many of these uh, dispensers. Let's talk about the, the selection of wine because they're carefully selected for Island Vintage Wine Bar, and that's courtesy of you. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, I really, to me, I, I, I select wines with a story. I mean, I really focus on who makes it, why they make it. You know, I really try to get wines that are grown organically or biodynamically, certainly sustainably, small production, family or independent operator. I mean, I really want to tell a story and find wines that meld beautifully with our food. That's also important. They have to be food friendly. All right, well, speaking of food, stay with us, everybody, because just in a little bit, we're going to tell you what dishes at Island Vintage Wine Bar go well with the Frappato. Thanks so much, Mark. Thank you very much, Mikey. <laughs> Good wine and cheese moments. I know. I love Pinot Noir. Isn't that good? Yes. Um, wait, but you've been to Ida Vintage Wine Bar before. Mm -hmm. What is the what is the wine that you always get or you I, always order? I usually do like a uh, just honestly whatever the cheapest <laughs> is because you know me. Yeah. But once bougied out did the Opus One. Okay, is that red? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. And so, um, yeah, I mean, they have such a variety. And if you're like a wine connoisseur, yeah. which I am not, but you'd be in heaven. And even right. someone like me, like, who just loves wine, period. I yeah. was like, oh, yes, I will try them all. You, you know where to go. I mean, cheese <laughs> and wine, like, it doesn't get better than that. And they do have really great bites. So I'm yeah. excited to see a little bit yeah. more of the food. Yeah, in the we'll show you the charcuterie board that I got to eat with yeah. the wine. It pairs perfectly.